So here we're looking at uh, another one of our pool setups. Um, by now, probably you're recognizing the flavor. Uh, I know I harp on this a lot. We, we, yes, I, I am kind of a, a, a pool plumbing nerd, uh, but it's just a really big deal. And so many people uh, are focused, um, and understandably so, on the pool and what that's all going to look like, that uh, they're quick to overlook the plumbing and the mechanics uh, and understand what's really happening and, and how important it is. Um, so what, what you're looking at is, obviously, that is your pump. Uh, we've got a diverter valve uh, that gives this pool owner the ability to control where their water is coming from. Uh, this is labeled the skimmer, and then we've got our lower drains over here. In most situations, the uh, diverter should be at 50-50, so we're pulling equally from the skimmer and the floor. That's going to ensure a, a, a very even flow of water, upper and lower. Uh, you're skimming the water uh, surface, uh, as well as uh, keeping the cold water pulled off the bottom of the pool and, and keeping the, the temperature even. Out of the pump, uh, we have our cartridge filter. After our cartridge filter, we have another diverter valve uh, that is plumbed into uh, a drain. This is our drain to waste. Uh, this is important because when you clean your, your cartridge filter um, or want to lower the pool for winterizing purposes, uh, simply throwing that valve will send the water away from the pool and, uh, and into waste and, and not risk uh, getting dirt puffed back into the pool, which is kind of irritating after you've, after you've spent all that time vacuuming Saturday morning. Um, now this particular customer went with a gas heater. I am I'm largely not a fan of gas heaters. Uh, this is a um, 300,000 BTU unit from Hayward. It's a, a, a millivolt series. And uh, for most people, that's probably not the way to go. This owner wanted to be able to swim uh, very, very late into the year, uh, even flirting with December. And a heat pump isn't going to do that. Uh, only a fossil uh, fuel or an electric electric heater uh, is going to be able to do that. Uh, so, so that's what we've got going on there. Out of the heater, we come back over and come into our salt cell. Uh, this is a salt uh, pool. This is the unit that converts the salt into chlorine. Uh, the water comes into this loop, comes up, over, and back down through the cell, and then on back into the return. 